We have Vishal Patil, Senior Vice President for Product Engineering Services BU at Mosschip Technologies, who will discuss how AI and IoT are enabling futuristic connected digital and enterprises. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Pleasure to be over here. It's an incredible moment for me. It's a pleasure to have all of you. My name is Vishal Patil. I head the device engineering, the product engineering and digital engineering at Mosschip. Uh, today we have gathered to talk about AI and IoT enabling futuristic connected digital enterprises. I'll walk you through a lot of synergies between what AI and IoT will do overall going forward. Uh, so let's start and begin overall. Uh, I'll start a little bit going back and looking at what IoT and uh, other stuff are, but more importantly, I think I will not get into the details of the marketing jargons. Uh, I think everybody knows it's an IoT era, it's an uh, uh, AI era, and it's a digital era. There's a era of digital transformation that's going on. I don't want to get into the scalability and other aspects overall. When you talk about IoT, maybe a decade back, uh, we know that we we were there to connect a lot many devices out over there, maybe tens or millions of those particular devices. What you show, see on the screen is only a part of those particular components. From an IoT standpoint, if you really look at it, what it meant was an interconnected network of physical devices, objects, machines, and uh, other components working together uh, to bring in a system working to, to, together overall. So when we talk about all of these particular systems aspects, we talked about uh, internet of vehicles, we talked about internet of services, we talked about uh, internet of healthcare. Probably everybody talked about uh, in some other the format in, in a way of interconnecting certain systems working together. And when you talk about those components, there are mainly three components, right? An edge, a cloud and a mobility, taking the data from the edge and moving it into the cloud processing that particular data and then making some sense of that particular data are the three different components that we are probably looking out for. Now, let's talk about what AI has been uh, overall. When you talk about AI, AI is defined more, more as a systems uh, that uh, perform specific tasks that mimics human intelligence. Uh, and when you talk about all this particular aspect from a machine standpoint, when you put all those algorithms together, that's what we call as yeah, I'm do, not going to a little bit detail about what these things are. What we'll be defining and talking about is an era of taking a deep dive into the synergies between IoT and AI. As I move forward, we'll be talking more from a system standpoint, not at a component standpoint. But before going forward, let's take a step back and look at uh, a fusion of uh, OT and IT. So this is a rewind of uh, what we started off uh, about a decade back, talking more about what OT is, what IT is. So OT has been more of a physical world, uh, you know, giving out real data uh, from, from machines overall. And this was more in context of the industrial automation that we are talking about. And the IT, on the other hand, has different KPIs. It's actually bringing in a lot of areas uh, in terms of real-time environment, monitoring of those particular areas and bringing those particular areas together. We, as per look at it, OT as a backbone for the uh, uh, industrial automation areas. And when we talk about the KPIs, the KPIs for two disparate systems of OT and IT has been different overall. Uh, when we talk about OT, it's more about safety. It's about uh, uptime of a particular machine. It's about knowing and uh, doing a, going ahead more of a planning standpoint, a capacity planning standpoint. On the IT side, you're probably looking at uh, cost savings, you're looking at agility, you're looking at real-time operations to be done and all of those. While the KPIs were different, the intent was to probably bring in the fusion between both OT and IT, working together and making more sense for the enterprise overall. And over the last decade or so, while we were working with most of the clients, I think we have been able to fairly achieve a couple of those, which is probably a cost optimization, uh, moving ahead and talking about real-time uh, data coming together and giving those particular uh, areas together. But we still believe when we talk to the customers that there are a lot of pain points that they have not been able to address. So we have been able to connect the devices, we have been able to connect the machines, uh, the IT is able to get that particular data, but then still the pain area continues, which includes silos as one of the key components. When I say silos, uh, the Customers come and tell us that they having data silos, they having technology silos, 
uh, they are doing process silos, they have departmental silos, and that probably is a bigger aspect of overall. I think there's a, there's another layer that I want to add on top of it, which includes an expectation uh, from the digital workers uh, or digital vendors overall working uh, working working with uh, you all per se. And this particular areas includes uh, uh, expectations because there's a generational gap. Uh, the the person who is probably working on the service on the field is now expecting more from the enterprise in terms of making sure that they are able to assist him with certain tools to make his KPIs uh, and that's expectation from a digital worker is not untrue now in this particular uh, AI era that we are calling about. So I think the expectation mismatch between uh, the enterprise systems and the worker skill set is another area. So I think these are a couple of pain points which probably if you are able to address uh, overall might make the system more efficient. Uh, for the enterprise in terms of all the ROIs that they're looking out for uh, going forward. Uh, so we will take a little bit step back from this particular area and move uh, into the next era and check out uh, if we can probably uh, automate a couple of those workflows and see what's the incompleteness, what's the missing piece. Uh, what I believe is when the OK and I2 came together, uh, they probably uh, have been more focusing on transactional related stuff and less uh, on the personal part of it. What we intend to do in this particular slide is talking about what the missing piece is. We talked about the OT, which is the products, uh, the machines, the devices, the fusions of all of those particular areas, connecting them to the IT, and trying to see if the OT and IT makes sense to the enterprises. And I think there's still that missing piece. The missing piece probably is the people. Uh, when I say people, important aspect that we believe overall is that if we bring in people as part of the entire system for the enterprise that will make more sense what has happened is as part of the connectivity that we have created we have probably gone ahead and connected the machines but we have forgotten the people part of the entire enterprise and those are the digital workers that are currently part of the enterprise that can take the enterprise to the complete next level i think that's what I believe that emerging technology should be more human uh, and they should be focusing on persona specific requirements. Every digital worker, let it be your employee, let it be your vendors, let it be the uh, third party vendors overall, uh, who are working for that particular enterprise are doing specific uh, functional operation or functional work and that creates a persona. A marketing guy is doing his own job, the sales guys are doing his own job and they need assistance overall to do their functional aspect or their work more better. That's where the digital technology should be helping. So every digital working is performing their specific functional operations and that I think the operational part is what is the missing part. The operations that is specific to the persona is what is missing. Going forward only connectivity is not the part that uh, the enterprise should be focusing on. They should be focusing on bringing in tangible outcomes by focusing on the operational people-centric approach, empowering every person overall, giving them the contextual intelligence and crafting experiences that will allow the enterprise to get into a tangible success going forward. So I think this has been the major part of the narrative and if we bring in operations, product and IT and the fusion of all three aspects working together as a component, I think then we are looking at the futuristic digital enterprises that will enable more better productivity, agility, efficiency and also enhance the personalization user experience at all levels, right it from the device level to the operations level per se and reduce the friction between the people and technology. So these three components bringing in the people overall within the system will actually help you reduce the friction between the people and technology and move the enterprise to the next level. So persona specific operations and technology will become central to the success of the organizations if you want to really build the next level enterprises. Now I'll start more with the IoT and AI. I give you the full context about what the digital enterprises requirements are. And also we walked you through the last 10 years journey. What we now intend to do is talk about the 
AI and IoT synergies. I believe that AI and IoT are the key technology pillars to build connected, intelligent enterprise. And I want to be very specific out here. I am talking about the next era connected intelligent enterprises. The next digital era is not only about connectivity, it is also about embedding intelligence at every different levels to give experience and empower the users and give them personalized experience in growing the enterprise and also adapt to the innovations that is evolving day by day. When we say connected, the synonymous to connected is IoT and when we say intelligence, the synonymous to that is AI or vice versa. But now the AI uh, plus IoT is what the connected plus intelligence requirement is for most of the enterprises. And that's what I think is a key if you want to build in and integrate the intelligence to provide the personalized insights overall going forward. So what we probably are looking out is to unlock greater efficiencies, optimize operational performance and create seamless intelligent connections across systems processes and peoples. For this, as I was mentioning on the earlier slides, we are probably looking at three components, the digital products, the digital IT and the digital operations. If you're able to bring all of these three components with connectivity and intelligence within themselves, then we are actually moving forward to the next era of looking at how the IoT and AI synergies will enable the areas when we talk about connected products for example we we are not only talking about connecting them uh, with in uh, 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 with, with the data that needs to be taken from the sensors or the machines or the appliances and sending it to the cloud but also embedding intelligence within it so that the inferences can be run on it and they will be in position to not only give real time data but also adapt themselves for self services that will be required at their own end. They can actually do a self healing by themselves. On the digital IT, just not connecting and looking at the real time data, but also automating the flows and making sense out of, sort of it from a digital workflow automation standpoint will be important to embed within the IT infrastructure. The digital operations, when we're talking about it, only connecting that particular operations, but beyond that, working with the worker bots, or working with micro bots, probably also putting in RPAs in, in terms of intelligence will create assistance for all the workers and the digital guys who are actually going to use that particular system. And that brings in the holistic approach of creating the digital era and bringing in AI and IoT in a larger framework. Let's move to the next level. And this slide is more about talking uh, and repeating and reinforcing that particular area. When we're talking about, for example, the predictive maintenance needs and integrating that seamlessly, the digital platform will actually talk about the digital products. And then when we move towards the IoT, we are evolving and learning day by day uh, in terms of what the patterns are, what the algorithms are, and then automating those particular processes and trying to have a self uh, uh, optimization mechanisms within the IT. On the uh, operations side, we are looking at automating a couple of things so that we are able to have a real-time environment and go through the workflow automations per se. So enabling futuristic product and enterprises will need IoT, autonomous features coming as overall and AI and Gen AI working collaboratively to give a fusion of AI and IoT synergies. Let's move on from there and talk a little bit deep dive into what I just talked about overall, uh, the digital operations, digital products, and the digital IT. There are multiple components that will be working from a technology standpoint. What we talked about was more from a philosophical standpoint, but I think from a technology standpoint, we need to deep dive and take a, take a look at it. When we talk about digital products, we're talking about connected products and intelligent products working together. The connectivity part, should be more from a security standpoint, from user experience standpoint, let it be VUI technologies, let it be uh, Alexa and uh, other features working out on the device or the appliance uh, or the machines. But when we bring in intelligence, you're talking about personalized context that will be given to the users who are going to go. For example, if it's a vending machine, the personalization experience will also enable the marketing guys to know how the behavior act has actually happened. The edge intelligence will actually give you inferences to be running right on the edge and give more data inferences and intelligence as a learning pattern and the learning adaptability moves forward. The digital IT will 
encapsulate the data modernization and the application modernization which includes your entire application lifecycle management working together but the cloud ops the ai ops the devops along with gen ai will probably give you more process automations and reduce uh, and probably bring in more agility uh, going forward the digital operations on the other hand uh, from a holistic standpoint will now bring in real time availability and uh, visibility across the organization when we talk about the connected operations but from a intelligence standpoint it can actually give you a lot of personal assistance that will be required by your developers by your service guys by your third party vendors and probably give you more predictability with assistance for with with the uh, uh, areas that will revolve around uh, what what the intelligence is based on the data that comes in so field ops and other areas will be key to make the synergies of iot and ai work on the operation side overall i think that's that's a whole map of things that will if work in tandem will provide the details of how the digital enterprises will be required and can move forward with let's move on and talk about new avenues that will be available and enabled if you are moving and move, making this uh, iot and ai work together one of the key things will be autonomous decision making when the autonomous decision making is coming it is without any human intervention and without human intervention actually brings in the machines to work by itself take the decisions by itself and learn based on the degree of learning that they are actually going to put in to, together the personalization and uh, improved customer experience will probably bring in the areas that will be required by the marketing guys and also provide more sentimental analysis with nlp and personalized user experience uh, with the with with a couple of voice over discussion that can actually take care of the spatial computing is a new area which is more on the 3d centric form that will enable uh, the virtual experience into the physical world i think that's that's a bigger area that is coming out if you are able to fuse in the iot and ai working together there are more areas that uh, that will uh, we actually know which is the ai assisters and others probably we can touch base on those as well from a challenge and consideration standpoint ethics and automated decision making is one of the key things the fairness in the way the data can be handled and the societal impact based on the ethical and social implications on how a specific data ownership and algorithm bias will be the outcomes overall is a key important challenge that we should be aware of the other challenges include the scalability of the iot infrastructure and the interoperability when we talk about iot multiple devices working together has been the challenge that will continue overall i think a seamless interoperability will be one of the key challenges that we'll have to dive in and look at it when we talked about connected intelligent use cases the synergies are in multiple areas and verticals that be home automation to factory automations and automotive probably giving in more and bringing in the agility with the connectivity and ai working together and giving you better experiences across the stream of verticals from a persona specific use cases there are synergies which will bring in and be helpful to all the persons who are working from operation standpoint let it be your developers let it be various prospect for our customers let it be testers or employees i think everybody will be benefiting to have uh, assistance working for themselves from a takeaway standpoint also if you look at the the areas i think uh, enhancing human machine interaction and increasing operational efficiency will be important when we converge the ai and iot going forward thank you for your time and it's a pleasure to meet you all